Hello, hello. How are you today, guys? How's everything? Hello, it's me. Hello from the other side. Hey, teacher. Hey, hey, hey. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. You? I'm doing good. I'm doing pretty good, actually, you know. So, it's Tuesday. Yay. You know, so. <laughs> so, it's awesome. Okay. All right, guys. So, thank you for being here. Okay, I want to start with this. Uh, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta. I don't know if you guys have any question about anything, any comment you want to do or anything like that. No? Yes? By the way, guys, it's raining today here at my home. So you guys... Um, let me know if you can't listen to me, okay? So, that's what it is. Okay, guys. So, just as a way to remind information, uh, we are, uh, we, we were talking about different things yesterday. One of the things that we were talking about, it was about clothes and colors, right? Eso es lo que estuvimos hablando, clothes and colors. So we had questions like, what's your favorite color? What are your favorite colors, you know? And things like that, right? Um, we were also talking about, uh, we'll say like, um, uh, we were also talking about the different um, uh, clothes, you know, like shorts, jeans, pants, cap, you know, all that things, you know, that's what we were talking about. Just remember, uh, we are working with the section four this week, okay? Estamos trabajando con la section four, okay? Um, that's basically what we are doing. So, questions, guys? Any question, any comment you want to ask or you want to say something? No? Okay. If we don't have questions, I would like to start uh, taking the attendance today. So, let's see. I'm going to call your name. If you're here, you can say present or I'm here. Uh, Abigail Elizabeth. Thank you. Continue. Uh, Alejandro Antonio. Anderson Jeremy. Presente. Blanca Stephanie. Thank you. Present teacher. Uh, Camila Lisette. Present. Uh, Briseida Lis Lisbeth. Okay. Uh, Carlos Aníbal. Present. Thank you. Uh, Cecia Jemima. Okay, uh, then we go with uh, Claudia, sorry, uh, Claudia Maricela. Present. Thank you. Christian Daniel. I'm here. Elsie Gabriela. I am here. Emilio Isaac.
Este, la Elizabeth. Este, la Marisol. Fernando José. Floricia Mengíbar. Presente usted. Linda Guadalupe. Hazel Marcela. Present. Here Ingrid Esmeralda. Present. Iris Milena. Present. Uh, Jaime Alexander. Jaime Iván. Here, teacher. Juana Isabel. Present. Carla Joana. Okay, then we'll go with uh, Carla Marcela. Present. Uh, Kevin Joel. Crisia Dorila. I'm here. And Lazaro Eduardo. I'm here. Thank you. I appreciate that. All right, guys. So thank you so much for helping me with the attendance. I really appreciate that. So, um, yeah, that's what we're going to be working on today. And let's see. Okay. Now, let me share my screen. Entonces, chicos, ¿tienen alguna pregunta, algún comentario, alguna confesión que quieran hacer? No sé, algo. ¿No? ¿Todo bien? ¿Seguros? ¿Seguros, seguros? Ok. Ok. So, with that being said, uh, ok, guys. Um, ¿Está lloviendo donde yo estoy? Estoy tratando de que me puedan escuchar. Si de repente no me escuchan, digan, teacher, habla más fuerte. Y yo voy a tratar de hablar más fuerte, ¿ok? Sí. Pero ahorita me escuchan más o menos, ¿sí? ¿Sí? Ok. Sí, sí, sí. Ok, thank you, thank you. All right. Um, so that's what it is, guys. Let me just put something here. Second. All right. In the chat. Okay. Okay. All right, pretty good. So this is what I have. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, pretty much what we are going to be working with today, it's actually the possessions. Okay, so we have, I would say like different things or different uh, ways to talk about possessions. We can talk about possessions with possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns, or also we can use the apostrophe and the S. That is what we can do. So, okay, a second here. Uh, okay, and if you guys remember, as I said, we were talking about clothing, like, you know, like the hat, the t-shirt, jeans, shorts, socks, you know, things like that. And we were also talking about the colors. We were asking questions like, what are your favorite colors? What is your favorite color? And so on, right? That is what we had. Um, but today, we are going to continue and what we're going to do is, is this. In this class, you will learn how to use possessions in order to describe the loneliness of the things, okay? That's what we're gonna do. And as I mentioned, we have possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns, okay? Two things, possessive adjectives 
and possessive pronouns. Now, do you remember the subject pronouns? ¿Se acuerdan de los subject pronouns? Yes, no? ¿Quién se acuerda? Who remembers that? Uh -huh. We have I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Eso se llaman los possessive pronouns. Okay. Uh, no, my bad. Those are the subject pronouns. Subject pronouns. Y saben, los subject pronouns, cada uno de los subject pronouns tiene un possessive adjective o un possessive pronoun. Y eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Ok. Y eso nos van a ayudar para demostrar posesión en las cosas. So, let me play the video, ok. It's kind of large, um, it's kind of long, large, I, I would say long, but let's try to watch it and let's pay attention. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe the long end of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possessives that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use Okay, so that's what I was telling you. Here we have the subject pronouns, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. And these are the possessive adjectives and possessive pronouns. So, es como un equivalente. Possessive adjective, the I will be my. Possessive adjective of, uh, I'm sorry, possessive pronoun of I will be mine. For you will be your, yours, he, his, his, the same thing, she, Hair, hairs, it, it's, it's, and then we are ours. Okay, so let's continue watching. The possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. 
if I talk about it, I will need to use it and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, These are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car, the object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. Socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out. And as you can see, the object is at the beginning, not at the end, as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie. Okay, just before we continue, and let me just interrupt right here for a minute. Um, how we can notice, I uh, would we'll say like the difference is what, we, what he said. Um, entonces, teacher, yo para mí, yo veo que los dos son iguales o se usan lo mismo. <laughs> okay. It changes a little bit. It can change a little. One of the things is like this. Tenemos que focalizarnos on the object. We have to focus on the object. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. Okay. Then we have, this is your umbrella. ¿Cuál es el object? La umbrella, right? The umbrella. And then, this is her car. What is the object? The car. The, I'm sorry, car is the object. Okay, and then, and then, so what we have right there is that um, when we have the object at the end, uh, cuando tenemos el object at the end, Entonces, we're going to use a possessive adjective. You can see my, his, your, hair. Possessive adjectives. Okay? But if we have the object, I would say before the verb to be, in this case, we are going to use a possessive 
Brano. ¿Cuál es el object aquí? These socks are his socks. ¿Dónde está el object? Antes del verbo to be. Therefore, eso significa, oh, so that we have to use a possessive pronoun. This umbrella is mine, mia, right? This car is hers, right? The ella, it's mine, okay? And here is like if you say, esta es mi sombrilla. Este es su carro, right? That's what it is. That's basically what it is. So another way for you to notice that is that possessive adjectives, they will go after the verb to be, okay? Like in this case, and before the noun they are modifying. Possessive pronouns, they can go at the beginning, I'm sorry, at the end of the sentence, or they can also go, sometimes they can start sentences as well. But what you have to focus on, pero con lo que se tienen que dar cuenta para saber cuándo van a usar possessive adjective or possessive pronoun, it's in an object, el objeto del que se está hablando. Por ejemplo, like in these cases. If the object is at the end, you have to use a, possess, a possessive adjective. But if the object is not at the end, it's kind of in the middle, then you're going to use a possessive pronoun, okay? Questions until now? I mean, we're going to have time for questions, but let's do something. Let's finish watching the video and then you can ask me any question that you have, okay? Let's... Object is at the beginning, not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart, under names, Pat's blouse, Julie's jeans, Rex's t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe S. Now it's your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black the black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. Okay, guys. So that is pretty much what we do with the... Um, that's pretty much what we do with the uh, possessives, okay? But what I want you to notice is something here at the end. Okay. The black okay. car okay. dress her. Okay. For example, right here we have the car is black. I'm sorry. My car is black. So then you're saying mi carro is negro. Pero acá estamos usando un possessive adjective. Ahora, si digo uh, the black car is mine, estoy diciendo el carro negro es Mean. Entonces ahí estamos usando un possessive random. Y como les decía, all you have to focus on, it's basically on, what you have to focus on, it's basically on the object. If it is uh, like at the beginning, if it is in the middle, and so then is how you're going to be able to know what to use, right? 
So, questions, guys? Any questions about that? No questions? No? Is that fácil? Facilito? I have a question. Tell me, Christian. Uh, when do you use pronouns? Or when do you use the structure of the 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 pronouns? Pronouns? Yeah. Okay. Um it depends on what you want to say. For example, uh in this case we have mine, which is a possessive pronoun. Va a depender, como les mencionaba, de lo que ustedes quieran decir y cómo lo quieran decir. Por ejemplo, acá en la primera oración decimos, mi carro es negro, my car is black. Se entiende y estoy diciendo que mi carro es negro. Pero acá puedo decir también, el carro negro es mío. So, it depends on what you want to say. When do we use it? Cuando queramos usarlo, cuando sea necesario. ¿En, en, qué, ¿En qué momento o cómo sabemos? Les mencionaba, va a depender del objeto. Si usted pone el objeto al principio acá, que en este caso estamos hablando del car, si va antes, entonces vamos a usar un possessive pronoun. Pero si ponemos el, um, I would say, el car, uh, like right here at the beginning, and not, and not at, the, at the end, then we have to use a possessive adjective. So, otra de las cosas que pueden saber o cómo saber usarlos es que los possessive pronouns la mayoría de veces van a ir al final de la oración. Porque va a ir al final. Siempre va a ir después del verbo to be. Eh, ¿Cuándo va al final? Y a, a seguido del verbo to be, antes de eso estaría el objeto del que estamos hablando. Y si el objeto está antes del verbo to be, ya casi para terminar la oración, entonces ahí va a usar un possessive pronoun. Caso contrario, si ponemos el objeto at the beginning, en este caso está aquí el car, vamos a usar un possessive adjective. Um, that's pretty much what it is. Pero actually, vamos a hacer un, unas prácticas ahorita y vamos a ir explicando también paso a paso por qué es esta respuesta, por qué no es la otra y así. Pero I would say like pretty much that's what it is. That's how we use it. Mm -hmm. That's what we do. Um, besides that, I don't know if you guys have any other question. Okay. All right. Now, one more thing about the names. This is what we call possessions with with names. And the names are the apostrophe and the S. So those are uh, or those are, I would say, uh, that's what we have, okay? That's what we use, apostrophe and the S. That's what we're gonna use, okay? So, how do we use this? Well, I'll let you know. How do we use it? Well, guys, esto nos ayuda a mostrar posesión también. Este apostrofe la S es como decir de. Por ejemplo, Puedo decir, this is um, Carla's shirt. Entonces, este apóstrofe y la S es como decir de. Puedo decir, esta es la camisa de Carla. Nos ayuda a mostrar possession. De. Porque yo bien puedo decir también. This is the um, shirt of Carl. My back. Okay, but then we are in. We're adding two more words. Okay, pero a esto nos sale más largo. Y normalmente eh, los norteamericanos evitan decir cosas largas, sino que lo contractan cuando pueden. Y entonces esta es una de las cosas. 
en lugar de decir, this is the shirt of Carla. Fácilmente yo puedo decir, this is Carla's shirt. Boom. De largo puedo hacer más, corto. And it's simple. That's what it is. But we also have another example. What about if I say this are Lucas pencils? Okay. Now, what do we do? Do I add an apostrophe in the S right here? Con los nombres que ya terminan en S, ¿qué hacemos? Agregamos el apostrofe y la S y otra S? Or not? What do we do? Mm -hmm. ¿Qué hacemos? El apóstrofe. We just add the apostrophe. Thank you. Thank you, Jaime. Yes. Because it ends in an S. Como termina en S, lo único que hacemos es que nosotros agregamos solo el apóstrofe. So these are Lucas pencils. Boom. That's it. And so that's how we use it. Entonces esta es otra forma de demostrar possession with the apostrophe and the S. Pero just with names. Solo con nombres. Carlas, Lucas, Felipes. Okay. We can also say this car is uh, Jaime's. Ok. También podemos usarlo para dar afirmaciones así. Este carro es de Jaime. This car is Jaime's. Uh, this uh, what? Jacket is Juanas. Juanas. Ok. And that's how we do it. Questions about this, guys? Preguntas sobre esto? No? Todo bien? All good? Okay. Let's do something. Uh, Let's do something. Let's work on the practice right here. And this is the practice that we have. It says, complete the conversations with the correct words. So we have, is this Jennifer's hot? No, it's not hers. It's my or mine. You check one of the options. So I'm going to give you five minutes. Les voy a dar cinco minutos. So we can work on this, okay? You can do it on your cell phone or your computer. Y después lo vamos a revisar todos juntos y vamos a ir viendo por qué es esta respuesta y por qué no es la otra, ¿ok? So, I'll give you five minutes. Pueden levantar su manita virtual cuando lo hayan hecho, cuando lo hayan terminado, ¿ok? So, let's check it out, please. We are in the exercise 4.6, knowledge check, okay? That is where we are at.
Okay, guys, two more minutes. Those minutes must, two more minutes. Yeah, raise your virtual hand whenever you finish. Teacher. Tell me. Solo tenemos que dar la respuesta. Not yet. Todavía no. Ya lo vamos a ir revisando. Ok. Ya lo vamos a ir revisando. <laughs> ok. Okay, guys, one more minute. Just one more minute. Okay, we will start checking this right now, guys. Okay, so Aníbal, help us with number one, please. So read part A and part B, okay? Just number one. My minute. Yes. Okay, pero léalo todo. Read it all. Okay. Uh... It is Jennifer Hat. No, it is not her. It is, it is mine. My or mine? Mine. Mine. Okay, yes. How do we know that? ¿Cómo sabemos? Okay, because as I said, y aquí es donde podemos poner en práctica lo que les decía. Si el espacio está al final, yo automáticamente sé que tengo que usar un possessive pronoun. ¿Por qué? Porque los possessive pronouns ellos tienen, pueden ir al final o algunas veces at the beginning. ¿Ok? Aparte de eso nos fijamos en el object. ¿Ok? Aquí tenemos el object. Este it se está refiriendo al hat. Entonces como el hat ya está aquí, entonces significa que tengo que usar un possessive pronoun. ¿Right? Um, because of the object it's right here. It's at the beginning. That's one. I mean, it's not at exactly at the beginning, but it's before the pronoun. So let's go right now with uh, Jaime. Help us with number two, please. Are these your gloves? Are these your gloves? Yes. How do we know this? Well, because, um, you know, the uh basically the object that we're talking about it's at the end so we have to use a possessive adjective si en cualquier momento tienen una pregunta ustedes díganme you can ask me at any time if you have any question okay um iris help us with number two please right here this one no they're not my gloves 
let us Sally. Okay, so it says, no, they're not my gloves. Let's ask Sally. Why my? Well, because we have right here the objects. The object is going to see me's uh, want this, right? That's it. That's the reason why. Let's go with Blanca. Help us with the next one, please. My hair, hair gloves. Maybe their hair gloves. That's exactly what it is, you know? Same thing. We will apply the same rule as we did right here. Then number three. Let's go with volunteers for number three. Whose t-shirt are these? Are they Julie's and Pat? Okay. Whose t-shirts are these? Okay. Whose is like saying the can, right? Are they Julie's or Pat? Es lo que les decía. Son de Julie o de Pat, right? Questions about this? Questions? No? No, teacher. Okay. Now, pay attention to something. ¿Por qué estaremos usando they acá? Bueno, porque they también se puede usar para referirse a, la, a cosas en plural. En este caso, they está refiriéndose a t-shirts. Entonces, acá en lugar de decir t-shirts otra vez, decimos they, porque ya hemos estado hablando de los t-shirts. Aunque bien, pudiéramos decir... Are uh, these t-shirts Julie's or Pat? Pero en lugar de hacer eso, para no volver a mencionarlas, ponemos un subject pronoun, they, que se está refiriendo a las shirts. Okay? Is that clear? Yes? Yes. Okay, cool. Let's go with the next one. Volunteers, raise your virtual hand. So after the one virtual, volunteers, si quieren. <laughs> if you want to practice. Okay. Vaya, Aníbal no me levantó la mano virtual, pero sí levantó la de él. Okay, démosle a Aníbal. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, Aníbal. No, no, they are not Dale Church. Uh-huh. So, no, they're not their T-shirts, right? No decimos theirs porque miren el espacio donde está, está algo aquí en medio, no está al final. Y porque acá tenemos el, um, el object o los objects de lo que estamos hablando que está al final. Entonces, como está al final, no puedo poner un um, possessive pronoun ahí porque sería el lugar donde iría el possessive pronoun. Entonces, tengo que usar un possessive adjective, right? That's what it is. Ok. Christian, help us with the next one, please. Okay, but these socks are theirs. But these socks are theirs. Theirs. Right. Theirs. Just with S. La misma pronunciación, solo que con S al final. Theirs, right? Theirs. Uh huh. Yes. And we use right here, you know, a possessive pronoun. Why? Because the space is right here. Y porque el object está, miren, está aquí, eh? It's right here. It's almost at the beginning. Right? Next one. Floricia, help us. Thank you. Gracias por ser voluntaria. Thank you for being a volunteer. Um, These shorts are... Uh-huh. Uh, These shorts uh, are? Yours. These shorts are yours. Yes. Same rule. Because the space is at the, at the, at the, I'm sorry, at the end. That's the reason why. Then we got number four. Volunteers. 
Okay, Christian help us with number four. And then Aníbal with number with the next one. Okay. Hey, these are not our clothes. Exactly. Hey, these are not our clothes. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh -huh. Aníbal, help us with the last one. Oh, your microphone is off. You're, you're right. Uh, all are over there. You're right. Ours are all. over there. Mm -hmm. Y eso es lo que les decía. Los possessive pronouns pueden ir al final o algunas veces pueden iniciar oraciones. Pero en este caso... Lo tenemos acá como un antecedente, o so por eso podemos ponerlo acá. Es como si las nuestras están por allá. ¿Ok? Questions about this. Any question? No? Yes? No, teacher. No. Ok. Si tienen preguntas, chicos, háganlas sin miedo al éxito, ¿ok? Sin ningún, sin ningún problema, no tengan penas. ¿No? ¿Todo bien? ¿Todo calidad? ¿Sí? Ok. Good job. Ok, with that being said, let's continue with the next one. The next topic that we're going to be talking about, it says, in this class, you will become... Familiar with the weather seasons. Okay. So, this is a short video right here. And I'm going to play the video and I want you to listen and pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with the weather seasons. And you'll also listen to a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's start by listening and repeating. It's spring in Brazil. It's warm. It's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining. It's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's cool. It's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing. It's very cold. Now, let's listen to the conversation. It's very cold, which illustrates how this topic is used. Oh no, what's the matter? It's snowing and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they're at home. Well, you're wearing your coat. But my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Julie. What I would like for you to do next is to practice repeating the conversation that we just heard. This conversation will make a lot of sense for our next topic. Okay. Now, that's pretty much what we have right there. We have what we call the... Um, I would say that's what we have right here and... It's uh, pretty much the weather and the seasons. Now, the weather, you know, we have like different type of weathers. Like we have rain, snow, you know, things like that. Okay. But when we talk about the seasons, we get four seasons. Okay. Which are the four seasons? We got spring, summer, fall, and winter. Now, those are the four seasons around the world, I would say. But um, I dare to say that here in El Salvador, we just have like two seasons. This is my personal opinion. And I believe that we just have like summer and winter. And that's pretty much what we have here in El Salvador. So that's what I can say. Now, it's a spring in Brazil, it says. It's warm. It's very sunny, you know, it's like a lot of sun, right? That's that's what it means when it's sunny. Now, it's warm. We talked about that, like como calientito, right? It's warm. Um, no está uh, fresco, but it's like warm. Okay. Now it says, 
It's summer in Korea. ¿Alguien de ustedes ha ido a Corea? Have you traveled to Korea before? No. ¿Alguien? Ok. Es que acá dice que en Corea llueve en el verano. It rains. I mean, I don't know. Ah, that's what I heard, but I don't know. Así que yo para, para ver si alguno había ido y de verdad llovía en el verano. <laughs> no, I mean, it's right. I mean, that's what it is. They have rain on the summer. I know it's crazy because they have different, I mean, they live in a different location. It's not at all as the place we live at, you know, that's the reason why. So that's what it is. And so it says, it's raining. It's hot, you know, like hot, right? Hot and humid, right? And then we have, we have uh, right here. We have fall. Fall is basically, you know, well, all the trees um, let their leaves fall down, you know, like get to the ground. That's what it is. So then in that one, we can say that it's cold, or I'm sorry, it's cool. Sorry, it's cool. It's como fresquito, right? Is it cool? It's también como cuando se dicen, hey, you're cool. It is cool. Sí, it's como like you're cool, you know? But it means like you're uh, está fresco también, like cool. Then we have it's cloudy and windy. Cloudy comes from the clouds. Viene de nubes. Clouds, cloudy, nublado. Y windy, it comes from from the wind. Que hay bastante viento. It would say like you know like ventoso or something like that. You know that's basically what it is. Windy with a lot with a lot of wind. Like you know that's basically what it is. And we also have, it's snowing, it's very cold. And it actually comes from snow, okay? And it's cold, you know, like, you know, like you're frozen, right? Like, it's cold. So, that's what we have right here. Questions about this. Questions about the weather and the seasons. Mm -hmm. Preguntitas? Questions? No? Yes? Could it be? No? Okay. So that's what it is. And so now we'll continue right. Where is it? Right here. Okay. So I'm going to ask right now, let's see, Crisia, what are the seasons in your country? So what are the seasons here in El Salvador? What seasons do we have? It's a summer and winter. Yeah, pretty much that's what it is. I will say that it's summer and winter. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So let's see, Abigail. Uh, what is your favorite season? Um, my favorite um is my favorite season is my favorite my favorite season is um. Uh, El clima helado, ¿cómo se dice el invierno? <laughs> ah, now, okay, this season will be like, like probably, uh, probably, uh, I would say spring, summer, fall, or winter. In my case, my favorite season, it will be summer because it doesn't rain a lot. <laughs> no, el I mío. Mean, um, my favorite um, winter is. My favorite um, season is. My favorite season is. Um, winter. Uh, winter. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Good job. Thank you so much. Okay. And so I'm going to ask right now. Let's see. Da -da -da -da. Um, Christian. What's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Mm -hmm. Um, it's 
Raining. Yes, it's raining. Uh huh. That's what it is. Okay, now you, Christian, do me a favor. Ask one of these three questions to one of your classmates. Just one of your classmates. Um, Anibal, what's your favorite season? My hey, rabbit, please. What is your favorite season? My 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 favorite season is no it is you have four seasons spring fall summer and winter winter okay okay now you Aníbal can you ask a question to one of your classmates please Carla Marcela Uh, what is your favorite season? Favorite. What's your favorite season? What is your favorite season? Mm -hmm. uh, Carla Marcela. My favorite season is winter. Mm -hmm. Good job. Now you, Carla, ask somebody else, please, one of these three questions. Blanca, Stephanie, what is your favorite season? My favorite season is winter. Favorite season? Favorite. favorite. My favorite season is winter. My favorite, like favorite. favorite. Mm -hmm. Favorite season winter. Is, is winter. Is, is winter. Uh -huh. Good job. All right, cool. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, just keep in mind. Vaya, cuando hablamos de la season, son como las temporadas. Tenemos a spring, fall, summer, winter. Eh, primavera, verano, eh, otoño y invierno, right? Ahora bien, cuando decimos it's warm, it's sunny, it's raining, it's hot and humid, it's snowing, it's very cold, it's cool, it's cloudy and windy, eh, con esto nos referimos al weather, al clima. ¿Cómo está el clima ahora? What's the weather like today? So, for example, today it's raining and that's what it is. Questions about that, guys? No questions? Okay, so we're going to stop right here with the class. And I'm going to ask you to try to list, uh, sorry, to study all this right here. And we will continue tomorrow. And if you have a question, uh, si tienen preguntas, you guys can write it and you can ask me tomorrow as well. Okay. So, well, if you guys don't have any question, that should be everything for today. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. You guys take care. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 B